here from a Rainbow Balloons and welcome to my tutorial. Sorry it's been a little while, um, I've been finding it a bit harder to get back in the groove following the new year but hopefully you can get back on track. Now in my last video uh, when we had a look at the kangaroo I alluded to the balloon bunny. Now I think it's a great little um, few changes to the design which sees a whole new character appear and while I was experimenting with it not only did I see the rabbit come to life I saw a cat so I'm excited to share both of those designs with you which share the common body. Now let's have a look at that bunny rabbit design. So here's the one I prepared earlier. <laughs> now uh, this little fella is going to use two brown 260 or mocha brown 260s to create. What I've done here is just added a couple of additional balloons. So we've got the white round for the tail and the tip of a 260 for the nose. And I've gone ahead to draw the eye on, although you do have options. And uh, what I prepared here earlier is a couple of eyes that can be inserted right in there. To change up the look of your bunny rabbit. So let's get started with the bunny rabbit. Now, as I said, we require two 260s to do the head and the body. I'm going to go ahead to inflate them with a 20 centimeter tail and what I like to do is eyeball what I believe is the 20 centimeters, pinch the balloon off there and then use my handy Legendre inflator to inflate the rest. Okay, so tying it up and we're going to go ahead to start uh, with one of the bunny rabbit's ears. So I'm going to do a loop twist here and it turns out it's just a little bit bigger than the size of my hand. It's a wonderful gauge to use. Now I'm going to go ahead to twist off a two and a half centimeter or one inch bubble here. And go ahead to give it a pinch twist. Now another one inch or two and a half centimeter bubble um, and it might be a bit uh, slightly smaller than that. and another one inch bubble with a pinch twist for the back of the head. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now to work on the bunny rabbit's face. And I'm gonna go ahead to twist off this balloon, which is approximately three fingers or uh, six or so centimeters in length, followed by two half inch bubbles, which I'm gonna go ahead to do a double pinch twist. Or you can go ahead to uh, pinch twist those separately as well, which also works nicely. Now we're going to go ahead to do it, uh, the second side of the bunny rabbit's head. And we want the bubble to be the same size as that first one that we need to go to here. Twist it off and then twist it into the pinch twist at the back of the head. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead to do the top of the bunny rabbit's head this one I want the bubble just to be slightly longer than the other two parts of the bunny face and to get that shape I'm going to fold over and twist in. So just slightly longer than the um, other two and we're going to go ahead to squeeze the air out of the remaining tail part of the balloon I'm going to finesse that balloon back into the pinch twist that's from the back of the head and twist it in. So we've just gone underneath the head and got the excess balloon to this end and twist it around the pinch twist. Now go ahead to do another small one inch bubble and we're going to do a loop twist but give us a bit of a squeeze to get the remainder of the air to the end and then twist in a bubble this one's about one inch in size or two and a half centimeters and hopefully your bunny ears look fairly similar there okay so what we're looking at so far is the completed bunny rabbit head 
two ears, the back of head bubble positioned here. And we've got our pinch twist sitting on the top, or one pinch twist and one um, end bubble sitting on the top of the ears to give it some nice positioning. Now, we can go ahead to start to inflate the next balloon. So again, uh, inflate your second 260 to um, approximately 20 centimeters of uninflated tail. And that does work out to approximately eight inches. So I'm going to just let out that little bit of air, tie it off, and I'm going to go ahead to add this balloon in just at the pinch twist at the back of the bunny's head. Okay. So, starting now with a one inch bubble and another, which you're going to go ahead to pinch twist. This is the neck area for our bunny. We're going to go ahead to do one of the front paws, legs and paws. So I'm going to twist off a length of bubble. So you can see it's approximately the length of my uh, palm there. Oh, uh, 12 centimeters on side. And what I'm going to do for the paws, just fold the, ba uh, the balloon over and do a little bit of a loop twist fairly small, it's almost like a pinch twist, but it's just a little bit bigger. You can see there. And I'm going to do a second one. Okay, so we're looking at the front paw and or the front leg, one of them, and two of the paws. Now we're going to go up and do a second front leg. And we're going to now go ahead to do the uh, back of the bunny rabbit. We're going to twist again. This is just over a palm's length long. And I'm going to introduce in here a little white five inch round. In. You can choose to omit this cute little uh, white tail and if you do I recommend maybe popping in a pinch twist there because you want something just to help to find that part of the bunny rabbit. Now I'm going to go ahead to do the back legs. So observing the shape here that our bunny rabbit's back and legs are making, our, uh, sorry back and front legs, when we do the bottom leg, off a length of bubble, approximately the same size as the arm bubbles, but this one's slightly smaller, about four fingers right there. I'm going to go back and make a second bottom leg. Trying to replicate again the size of the first one that we did. First bottom leg. Now with the remaining balloon. We're not going to need all of it, but we do need enough to make the bunny rabbit's chest. So what I'm going to do is go ahead to feed this tail in up through the center. So passing it over the side of the leg, bring it through the center, just positioning it so it is underneath the uh, back body of the bunny and nestled slightly in between the bottom legs there, bringing it up to the front and through the front arms of our bunny rabbit. So we're going to go ahead, you can see here, folding the balloon back, creating a bit of a curve or bend there, twisting it in to the pinch twist. Now here I've got the uh, excess balloon which I'm going to go ahead to remove and <laughs> tie up. We've got our bunny rabbit with his chest puffing out, feeling a bit proud and bunny-like. Go ahead to position your twist. The back of head bubble for your bunny rabbit uh, serves as a way to be able to position the ears or the, uh, the bunny's loppy ears on either side. So, I might like to position it so it's sitting in this manner or 
perhaps this way works better for you. Just have a bit of an experiment. with this way. Now lop ear bunny is characterized by those gorgeous large floppy ears so that's what we uh, aim for here. Now the pinch width that we did for the neck of the bunny is sitting at the back of the head. through the middle. Make sure to conceal any ends of the tail and if you've got your scissors handy you can go ahead and snip that off if you're confident it's nice and secure in there. Now go to the front of the bunny rabbit's head. You see this pinch twist that we did here? You can also go ahead to uh, pinch, uh, or pinch twist on the twist. <laughs> Where's my tongue this evening? All right, so we're going to split that pinch twist in two and it makes a small, neat little muzzle. Splitting a pinch twist may not be for the faint-hearted, but you do get a lovely result for them. I'm going to go ahead to add a little pink nose to this bunny. What I've done is taken a scrap bit of 260 and I'm going to inflate the end, but I'm in keeping with the seam of cute, I'm going to do a kawaii little nose. Ah, not so kawaii is it? But we're going to twist that. Uh, you can also use, of course, a 160 for this. Oh, make sure you can tie it, which, don't worry, I got this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead to introduce you into the muzzle. So position it nice on top and in between the split twist. In and you can go ahead to remove any excess tail. Because my scissors aren't handy, I'm just going to touch them. Okay, so you can go ahead to either do um, or insert a couple of black eyes there or any colour if you'd like to change it up a little or you can go ahead to draw it. So I'll just show you how I'd like to draw mine on. Taking first the black marker. I like to draw the eye on the lower bubble. Just towards the back there. And I'm going to go ahead to give it some eyelashes. Not eyelashes, um, almost like eyeliner. And then give it a bit of a blow and I'm going to add some shine. So a couple of small white dots. And you can go ahead to draw that on the other side unless of course you take the option of doing the balloon eyes. Such as with this bunny. Mutant. <laughs> but with that, um, I just used a 160 black and did two small bubbles, separating the center of those bubbles with a number of twists, let's say uh, 15 to 20 or so, tying the ends together and removing the excess. So it's great um, to use one length to get a number of bunny rabbit eyes out. And you can go ahead to maybe even prepare these in the towels and the noses ahead of time if you'd like to uh, help your line move a little bit faster if you anticipate on maybe doing a lot of bunny rabbits. It is Easter that I hear calling. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love it and I uh, can't wait to see any bunnies that you might create. Until next time, see ya!